You might think with a potentially fatal virus that swept across the globe, causing billions of us to have to squirrel ourselves away indoors, producing a forthcoming tsunami of job losses, business closures, and a global depression that could lead to even more lives being lost than the virus itself, that Sky News and the BBC, our mainstream broadcasters, would be focusing on those very present and real threats. Well, my friends, you'd be wrong. Brexit derangement syndrome was once the virus that swept the British media. Now the deadly pandemic has mutated and is now known as Cummins derangement syndrome. In defence of our mainstream broadcasters, one thing you can say about them is that they very clearly care very passionately about adhering to lockdown rules. As evidenced by the fact that over these last few days, they've gathered together outside of the Cummins household like a pack of sardines, showing little regard for the lockdown's social distancing guidelines. He didn't venture up to Durham for a second time, which was reported on the front page of the Sunday Mirror. He didn't put his family members at risk through physical contact. Durham police didn't, as was also reported, talk to the Cummins family about the COVID lockdown guidelines. And Cummins didn't carry on doing things that everyone else was unable to do. He even missed the funeral of his uncle who died from COVID-19. And he did not leave his London home for elite reasons, open only to the Prime Minister's advisor. He left because he was receiving death threats as a result of the mainstream media's demonization. He was ill, his wife was ill, and at one point his child was taken to hospital in an ambulance in Durham. Cummins derangement syndrome is explained really, really easily. To our lazy and entitled political and media class, he was the first man to finally give them a significant challenge through nothing short of democratic revolution, both in our vote for Brexit in 2016 and then in that 2019 general election. They don't give a damn about the child or the law in question. And it's the small child that's at the very heart of this really quite human story, with two concerned parents making the best plans they could within the rules as set out by Dr. Jenny Harris to ensure that the care would be there for their vulnerable young toddler if they suddenly found themselves unable to provide it. To end, friends, what I'd say is I don't think the real scandal here is Dom Cummins' behaviour. I reckon it's more to do with the collapse of ethics and objectivity in our mainstream media.